The navigation form is a form you can create that comes with tabs that you can click on to display other forms or reports within that navigation form. Long story short, it's like our good friend, the ribbon, where you can go ahead and click on one tab and it just updates the ribbon here and doesn't open up additional windows. And so the navigation form is the same thing. Opens up one window where you can go ahead and click on one tab to view one form, click on another tab to view another form or report and so on. So that way you don't have to come over here and when you want to view two or three forms and reports, you don't open them up with various windows here that you have to navigate through. It's more organized when you get these buttons that you can click on to update the main window. So to go ahead and create a navigation form, let's come up here and click on the Create tab. Go to the Forms group, and it's right there, Navigation. You can see in the pop-up when I hover over it, it'll create a form that allows people to browse to different forms and reports. Click on it, and you've got some options. You can have tabs or buttons along the top of the form. Left-hand side, right, two levels. Ooh, that sounds fancy. And you can have them both horizontal and vertical, but let's keep it simple. We'll start with the basic one for our introduction, horizontal tabs. Click on it, and you get one tab. Of course, when you add something to that tab, you can add additional tabs. And there's a couple ways you can go about adding a form or report to this Add New field. One way is to go ahead and double-click inside of it and just type in the name of your form, FRM, Contact, and hit Enter. And, ooh, there you go. Pulls it right in. You can do it that way, or if you're within the neck of the woods down below here, you can click and drag and drop it right on top of the next Add New. And then when you do that, well, there it is, Customers Form. You get another Add New tab that you can go ahead and, well, let's do a report this time. Let's do Category Sales, click and drag, and put it right there. Close out of the field list. We're in the Layout view, so that's why we still get the Add New. If we want to right-click and go to the Form view, that disappears, and let's take it for a test drive. Contact form, oh, that's nice. Customers, okay, pretty good, except I have to scroll around and, oh well. You know how to update that in the design view of your form if you want to squish things more together so you don't have to scroll, but when it comes to a report, well, you may have to scroll. I got a lot of records there, like the very last one, Tiki Torch. And then if you want to go ahead and make some changes, let's right click as an example and, well, like the layout view here, oh, I've got to scroll up. And you've got FRM contact, and you don't want that as the name. If you double-click in it, you can go ahead and delete the three-letter prefix and hit Enter, and that works. Or if you want to bring up the property sheet, either here or in the design view, well, here we can just come up here on the design tab and go to the tools group and click on property sheet. And then for the name of the button, you can come over here on the all tab, and you can change it here. I mean, lowercase c, come on. We need an uppercase c and hit Enter and it updates it. And then of course for the backend designer view in the layout or the design view for you, that is, who's designing this, you can refer to this as, well the default is navigation button, but you can go ahead and abbreviate that and call it the nav. But, okay, I'm already hearing you laugh, but in any case, nav but, and let's call it the contact and hit enter. So that way, when I have a lot of things to work with in my form, if I can't find it readily that I can click on it, I can just click on the drop down arrow and you get all the navs together. Of course, these ones are navigation spelled out completely, but I abbreviated it, nav, but, contact, select that, and it selects the button there for me to work on. And then with this selected, you can go ahead and hit the delete key on the keyboard and it gets rid of it. So I just click on it once, hit the delete key, and it's getting rid of all of them. Now let me do something a bit more complex in case you decide to have tabs not only horizontally here, but also vertically as well. Let me close out of the form here and not save it. So let's come back up here, click on the Create tab, go to the Forms group, Navigation, and let's do Horizontal and Vertical tabs on the left-hand side vertically. Click on that, and there you go. Now when it comes to adding forms, add them up at the top first because the horizontal tabs are the main category and the vertical tabs are the subcategories to the main. So for example, let me go ahead and add my contact here, and then let's add a report to this one over here. And after I have my main tabs, like for the contact form, we could say the sub to that, that when I'm in that area looking at the contact, if I want additional information or something that's related to the contact, we can go ahead and add that form or report to the sub here, or the vertical tab there. So like it could be like the customer info, 
why not just customers there as well. So what that does is when I go ahead and I leave the main tab, those disappear. Well, let's go ahead and close out of here and right click and go to the form view so it looks cleaner without that add new tab. So I'm on the report category sales. When I go to the contact form, it shows me the subforms here so I can go, oh, well, here's some more information, the customer info, click on that and then the customers. And when I want to go back to the main category, there you go. As opposed to, let's right click and do it the wrong way, go to the layout view. When I go ahead and click on add new, I have the option to add it as a main or sub. Remember, do it as the main first because if, well, for example, if I click on this report and add it as a sub first, okay, that's horrifying. I mean, look at that. We got a squishy here. Who likes squishies? I don't, unless it's raspberry. But man, that's crunched, and I don't like that. So let me go ahead and hit undo, and instead, add them up here at the top first, and then once you get that established, then go ahead and add your subs, either forms or reports, off to the left-hand side. And then one last thing I want to show you, I'm looking at this report right here, and let's go ahead and right-click and go to the form view, and we're scrolling down, and we get down to Tiki Torch. Now, if you want to print it off, don't do it in your navigation form. Let me show you. So with it selected here, if I went backstage file, down to print, and then I went to print preview, click on it to zoom in. Do you see Tiki Torch? No, it's cutting it off and I can't see it down below. And I don't get any additional pages. So if you want to do a print on your report, then open up the report itself. This is just for you as you're viewing them in the navigation form. Not something that, well, I would print because part of it won't print. Finally, I want to be able to cover the navigation forms at this point in level 3, not with the other form training videos earlier on, because in the next training video we have what are called switchboards, and it relates to it in the sense that it's another form that instead of having tabs on it, it'll have buttons. And these buttons, when you click on it, doesn't navigate within the form here, like as you saw here. It actually opens up the form or report which can be very handy because when it comes to printing a report, you don't want to be doing it in the navigation form. As you just saw, it cuts it off. So pick which one of these works best for you, a navigation form or switchboard form. And a switchboard form is going to take a couple of training videos to set that up and show you, but anything that requires a lot of work, typically, I would say when it comes to access, allows for more flexibility. Now, if you're set on using the navigation form or any other form outside of the switchboard form, you want to watch the switchboard startup options training video because there I can show you how you can choose any form, but for that training video it's going to be for the switchboard form, but any form you can have it automatically open up at the same time you open up your database. So that may be very helpful. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos, and for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.